All right, now that we have sewn all our rows together, we've sewn all the way around, it's now to take your hard work and cut it up. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, especially since I'm making two rag quilts at the same time, a tool like this will save you. <laughs> um, it's really handy, especially if you have like arthritis or that sort of things, it's got a spring into it and it's just much easier to handle than scissors. And what you're gonna do is you're going to just come up and start snipping. And if you recall, I showed you before those blocks and I showed you the different results with um, the different widths of snipping. And so just decide what's comfortable and start snipping away. You're gonna, it, this is gonna take some time, so you might wanna just turn on a movie. How to Marry a Millionaire, good movie. The Thin Man series, good movie. <laughs> or movies, I should say. There's several, actually. Um, and actually what I like to do is while I'm going through here, I will trim my threads as I go um, through and ragging stuff. But you're just gonna take your time and you are going to rag all the way down these rows. Um, you're gonna run these blocks and you're gonna go along the edge too. Now, especially along the edge, you're gonna to need to be careful that you don't cut through your seam. So just be very mindful of that. Sometimes you can just kind of be mindlessly snipping and make a mistake. So it's kind of key that you just pay attention and snip. Now, as you get to these kind of bunched up sections, just kind of do your best to work down into it because you want this little section to rag up too. And you can see right there what it is. Now, the other thing is because we are using cut all is you can see that coming out right there. Um, you're gonna need to either wear an apron while you do this or just be aware that you're gonna be covered with fuzzies when you're done. You might consider maybe just laying down a sheet in front of the TV and sit on the sheet um, and snip it just to contain mess or vacuum right afterwards, but I am gonna tell you, it's the blessing and curse of cuddle is that that cuddle fuzz comes off from cutting it. So be aware of that and just take your time and snip it all up and then it'll be time to wash and rag your quilt. And pretty much the process, whether it's the cuddle um, cuddle one or just, you know, cuddle flannel side is the same. Um, it's the same sewing it together and it's the same um, trimming it from here on out. Just the assembly is different, but the process is the same. So I am going to take my time with my trusty tool here and snip.